we gotta talk. Nah, I don't want to get in trouble, Coco. I, I need some more oxy. You get to see what Richie is doing this season? Just to show what he's capable of? Which anyone who's ever met him will not be surprised. I think the rest of the world, they're not gonna know what hit him. Let's roll Sam, please. Rolling, rolling. This season, it's like a private invitation for the audience to come sit down and be intimate with these characters, as if you shouldn't be there. With Coco, it's the addiction that he learned from a very, very early age. For Coco this season, it was the journey of a drug addict, and not just the journey of a drug addict, a man that was trying to numb his pain because he killed his mother. And he's a man. It's really hard to watch, especially because Richie plays it so beautifully, and to see him be ravaged by this addiction is, is really hard. One of the gifts across the board with all the actors is to be able to give them the material to explode with. It's about making yourself undeniable. And with Richard, the personalization that he's been able to put into that, it's been incredible to watch. Heroin has lived in my family maybe like 30, 40 years, right? Even though I never was a heroin user, I know it. And I know it on a personal level, right? And, and I know it through my uncles. I was also in prison, right? And like heroin is a big thing in prison. And like, I know it. Like I used to pass the syringes from, from south to south, right? And I used to keep an eye for the correction officer while he would put the needle in his neck. And I used to like walk by bunks while while little homies were just nodding out. It's like, I know how it smells, right? I know how it, how the gooiness looks, but like, there's nothing more than actually going into the, to the belly of the beast, right? Actually going to where it's at. We're in Los Angeles. People don't know what Skid Row is. Skid Row is like a little village in downtown Los Angeles that has been here since like, maybe the 1980s and drugs, are just free flowing right there. You could go there anytime, any day, and see people slamming heroin, and it's a smell. They're there, the people are there, right? And like, I, I literally, like I park my car, or I drive through block by block, and I really try to experience it in that way. When I go to Skid Row, it, it's like everybody has a story, right? And this is like the, the end result of a man or a woman's journey, right? But they didn't always start like this, right? The interesting part of heroin addiction is like, where did it come from and how, and how was the journey that took them there? That's, that's my research. You know, I've known Richie, you know, since the beginning of my career. He's not afraid of anything, anything. That's just something I've always recognized in Richard, of just someone like, yeah, we're on set, we're doing this, and he's in the corner, like, I'm gonna go down to Skid Row. I'm gonna bring up all the demons from my own life and from my family, generations of my family. I'm going to express these things. With Algin running the show, there's so much spirit and work and thought that goes behind this world. And when you work with somebody like that, how are you not gonna give your 110%? To see what he's done this year, man, the amount of weight he's lost, you know, it's scary. You're like, you need to eat something, bro, or have a sip of water. He even times, like, when he's going to eat based on, like, his performances. So, like, when he comes in and he's desperate, it's like, he hasn't eaten all day. So he's actually, like, there is actual desperation in that. No one ever told me, but I was like, well, if this is the journey that we're gonna take, I think he has to feel it in his body. Early on, I asked him to stay alive, and so far we've made that happen, but he's gone that far. As an actor, right, like, you always want to, where are you going to grab from, right? Where are you going to be inspired from to bring forth life? But I knew that I needed to suffer, I needed to sacrifice because Coco is suffering and he is sacrificing day in, day out. And when I go there, then that's when the magic happens right there.